Star Citizen is continuing to grow, but what can it learn from a game like Helldivers 2? So with a game like Star Citizen, right now especially, you currently have your underground bunkers, the upcoming distribution centers, and of course you will probably have a lot of the derelict settlements, and even th places like Ghost Hollow that you're actually going to be able to go in, do some missions, box missions, maybe kill gangs or something that's in the area. But it's very limited currently on what it's going to do. And I do think in the, even in the distribution centers, until they had like raids, things like that, it's going to be kind of a re do this, rinse, repeat, do this, rinse, repeat type thing for a while. No, not really any progression. Granted, we do have the um, hostility reputation, everything that's coming in. But I don't necessarily think that that's going to be enough to kind of keep everything going at the moment i could be wrong i hope i'm wrong but whenever you see games like hell divers 2 which have kind of seems like it's starting to explode a little bit a lot of fun if you haven't tried it i definitely recommend it you start seeing things in that game that very easily could be added into star citizen um, adding the like the stratagems for example where you might have a group on the ground. There's another player who is in, in a ship above them, even if it's just a drop ship. Something they could drop down to you while you're on the ground. Something like a, a bigger gun, or even provide air support to you to take out different things that are on the ground that you might be having issues with. Say you're hunkered down somewhere and you can't see where somebody is. Of course, you can have someone in the air, kind of circle around, maybe shoot them from the air and be able to take take them out. Or an inbound ship or something comes in, just like in uh, some of the derelict areas, where reinforcements come in. It'd be great to, if you're on the ground, have some kind of an air support there to be able to take that out. I don't know if they would ever do something orbital with it, but I mean, hey, that's be still kind of cool. But the main thing that you're getting with Helldivers is kind of the coordination gameplay that's there. It basically kind of forms its own form of storytelling between every person that's playing it. You, If you haven't tried it, like I said, definitely give it a shot, especially if you can get in a group. And they do have a pretty good voice chat system. Granted, I use Discord a lot whenever we're playing the game, but... You can still use the voice chat in it as well. But it's more of the getting together, working together to clear these objectives, which very easily could also be put into Star Citizen. Hey, you go to Ghost Hollow, you have to find coordinates for something somewhere else. You go in, you clear out a whole area, you find those, you get extracted from it, and then go to the next area. I definitely think something like that could add a lot of variety into the game as well as give you a lot of different things to do. Now I know things like that could be kind of repetitive but if you really think about it you're going in you're doing one thing picking something up clearing an area closing out uh, spawn locations for enemies and then working your way somewhere else to do the same thing or even say you need to find somewhere to blow up and the only way to find that is to go in one area work your way into it through waves of mobs get uh, some codes or something then go to it within that same area to shoot off some kind of a missile or something or give something to your uh, buddy with air support and be able to blow something up or get some more crew into that area to actually close out that part of the mission. There's a lot of variety that you could do within this to actually make it feel a lot more alive in it as well. Now, going back into Helldivers, of course, there's always a possibility of blowing each other up, which, to be honest, is kind of funny when it happens, which is a lot. And you have all of your different stratagems that, if you're not careful, it's going to blow each other up. You've got your um, mortar turret, which basically as soon as it sees enemies it's shooting mortals at them but if you have one of your friends or someone who's in your party there with you who's not paying attention they're going to run where the enemies are and yeah they're going to go boom fairly quickly 
it's little things like that that can definitely add up to make it a much more enjoyable experience. Even if it's just the camaraderie between the group that you're with. That can very easily be brought into Star Citizen to do these certain things. I know Siege of Orison has kind of a, a flowing mechanic with it. So when you're in there doing everything, you go, you get codes, you go kill lieutenants to go to the next area. Having that in that one particular area, well, yeah, it's great for that one area, but it doesn't seem like it's ready to be pushed out to everything to me yet. Of course, I've not had a chance to do like the blockade running or the Xeno threat fully. I know we did a lot of testing on the Xeno threat missions to kind of get it going for the dynamic event, but granted, everything's in live now. We've not seen anything in live with that yet with the uh, 3.22.1 patch. Hopefully we'll see that soon, get a better feel for what's actually happening, and can definitely get it, because those missions do feel kind of a, a good start to something like this Helldivers campaign type things are, even though it's not really a campaign, but some of the missions. But being able to progress with those, and of course getting better armor, being able to upgrade it, being able to get better weapons and upgrade it, it, the little things like that that definitely needs to be included into Star Citizen. There's just not enough progression in it right now. There's not enough mission variety to, for like these kind of full group based type missions. Except for your like Siege of Oris and Xeno Threat. Things like that. So in my opinion something along the lines of Helldivers kind of mixing that gameplay into Star Citizen, I definitely think would be very fun. Would it be a constant? No, you've got too many things like racing that you can do, of course, cargo missions, all these other things that you can do and take your time, still be playing the game, but be completely different way of playing it. And it will just add more variety so that everyone will be able to work with it. Now, whether it'll come to pass or not, who knows? I definitely think that some of the aspects of these games will kind of be combined together and we've seen before CIG's definitely not afraid to take things that they've seen in sci-fi and other different games and stuff and try to say hey let's kind of see here not mention anything on the x-wing or i'm sorry the uh i can't think of the name of it off the top of my head the scorpius so you see where I'm coming from on that. It's definitely something that CIG has done in the past. Probably will do in the future. And I don't blame them. If it works for something else. It's going to work. So just let them do what they need to do there. But definitely take inspiration from some of these things. That are getting popular like the Helldivers game. And definitely run with it. I've dev I do think that you could make a lot of very very cool missions. And then adding in something even, like I said, you have to go to one area, get a code, you need to extract it out, you can have someone there, you got a few people on the ground, someone providing air support, as soon as they're done, you go pick them up, you take them to the next area, same thing, rinse, repeat, kind of cool, and then also... Hey, you never know. They might need some support from the air and just to blow something up or take out a big wave of enemies that they can't deal with on their own. It would definitely be cool to do. But let me know what you think in the comments, and I will catch you in the next one.